So for today, we're going to be looking at these Sunlit Armor pieces for the Warlocks, specifically the individual pieces that if you guys don't know if this is your first video, we usually review the armor, which is right here. And then we go over the shaders for all for the armor as well for all the classes, which is right here. Those uh, definitely check them out. You can look at how all the shaders look. And I have quite a bit of the shaders I've been playing since Vanilla Destiny 2. And yeah, there's a lot of shaders to go through. But also the review for the armor as well is really good because we go over how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts, and overall just information about the armor that you may not know. So definitely check those videos out. Titans and Hunters, you guys have videos already done. They're both right here. You guys can definitely check them out. I would highly recommend you guys checking those videos because I definitely think this is probably some of the best pieces that I made for the Titans and Hunters. Warlocks, unfortunately, I don't think I cooked as hard, um, but there is still like one or two pieces or sets from this uh, video that I think are bangers. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys. Let's just get into it. So to start off, we're going to be using the helmet. And for this one, it's interesting because this is a set that I took from the Osmio Mancy gloves uh, look that I made and just kind of like reworking it. So the only thing that's actually the same would be the Osmio Mancy gloves and the chest piece. Other than that, oh, the shader as well. But other than that, everything's completely different. So uh, for the helmet, that's completely different. The other things that are different is going to be the psionic speaker boots. If I remember correctly, that's also completely different. And then the Chitin Slate uh, shader with the Ancestral Bond, so that way I have no bond, is new as well. I really like this set just because the helmet really makes this set look more bougie than it should, than it should if I'm being quite honest. But I really, really like it. For the shader, Horfrost Sunrise, I think is a perfect shader for this. It looks super, super cool. But I, you definitely could switch it out for something else. The reason I'm using the Psionic Speaker Boots is because... I like the texture of the boots. That being said, I definitely should have switched this out for a more bougie look just because the chest piece on the helmet and even the arms to a certain extent have a more like dignified look than the boots. That being said, I still really like the boots. So that's why I'm still using it. But I would switch them out for something else um, if it really did bug me that much, which I like it sometimes bugs me, but sometimes like the boots look super cool with it. It's just, yeah, it does take away a little bit of it because everything else is super bougie and the boots are like more militaristic, I guess, I guess you would say, because it looks like more like armor padding than anything else. And then the essential bond, I didn't want to bond in this one just because uh, the chest piece, I think, looks really good without it. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this one. Ne definitely not weak. It's just people have seen this one. If, if you guys have been following my content, you guys definitely have seen this armor set before. The next set, we're going to be using the boots. And for this one, Nezirak Sin, just base ornament is where we're going to be using. For this one, I'm, I was going for like a researcher type thing, which is not surprising. I've done that set before. And I have used Braytech researchers robes as well, because I do think just the robe just looks amazing. For the arms contender gloves is what we're using, just because I didn't want anything armor plate. Because again, this is more researcher and researchers don't have a lot of plate armor. And for the boots and the bond, we're going to be using the sunlit armor, just because... Uh, again, I usually like to use two pieces because the bond is definitely not something you can make a whole armor set around. It's a little like it looks cool, but if I'm being honest, I should have probably switched this one out with the first set just because the first set is a little bit more bougie and that 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 bond is very like out there. So I definitely should have switched it out. But at the same time, I don't really care that much because this one, I'm going to be honest, is not my favorite. The boots are definitely cool. I love the boots. The boots look super cool. But I do think the straps on the thighs is definitely something you want to showcase, which is why I'm using Braytex researchers for the glow for the shaders. We're going to be using iron bone just because I love the color of the of the cloth. I love this color. And then the the chrome is also cool as well. So this one is definitely like not the best. But that being said, I still think it looks really, really cool. And I'm happy that I have another Nezirak Sin look in the, in the back of my pocket. As for the next set, we're going to be using the arms. And for this one, it's interesting because I don't think it looks bad, but it's definitely like I definitely need to go back to the drawing board for the arms. That being said, I did look quite a bit for it because if you guys don't know, the arms are actually asymmetrical and I really tried to lean into the asymmetrical look. But unfortunately, a lot of the asymmetrical pieces was on the left side for armor and the right side was cloth. And that's the opposite for the arms, which is unfortunate. That being the case for the helmet, we're going to be using Bob 
Fallen Sunstar. I definitely think the Fallen Sunstar look is really, really cool, especially when you combine it with the Arclight Robes. Both of them have electrical currents going through them, which is why I'm using it. For the boots, Imperian Cartographer, Cartographer boots is what we're using just because uh, I like the boots, honestly. And then for the Bonds, Fetish Bond is what we're using. Unfortunately, uh, I'm not the biggest fan of this set just because the arms really, really pissed me off. I was trying to find something that has a, an asymmetrical look. I really couldn't find it. And I just kind of decided to go with the Fallen Sun Star and Arc Light Robes look because I like it. It looks cool. It's just, I don't know. It just, that, this is definitely the weakest piece from the whole set, from the whole video. Definitely think that. That being said, I, I think the shader combination is really cool. Precursor Vex Chrome is a shader I love to death. And Refined Revels, uh, the reason I'm using Refined Revels for this one is because uh, I didn't want an off color for this one because Precursor Vex Chrome actually has a weird, weird off color for Fallen Sunstar. So I just decided to do Refined Revels because I do think the glow is close enough to the chest piece, specifically the like the collar armor. I think it's so close to that that I was like, it's fine. I'm not going to be too bothered by it. To be fair, I'm not going to come. I'm not going to have this as a sun, Fallen Sunstar uh armor in the back just because i'm not the biggest fan of it because the arms are asymmetrical and everything else isn't once i find or when we get an asymmetrical armor set that is heavier on the right side then i would definitely like go into it a lot more that being the case if we do have that let me know in the comments below because i just could not find an armor set that looked really good with it as for the next set we're going to be using the chest piece i think this one is super super cool i think the helmet is definitely a placeholder because I'm, i don't know if i like it or not but let me know what you guys think for the helmet valkyrian uh hood is what we're using just because i felt like at the time the engravings on the actual helmet look really cool with everything else i it, you know what it might be i think it's the fact that the dreaming cast although really cool with the chest piece boots and bond I think it's the fact that the helmet is just black and everything else. And like, I don't know. I, I think that's the case. I think I just have to switch out the shader and then maybe I'll like it. If not, there's other bougie helmets that we could use. And so I'm not like really too worried about it for the arms. The Nivois filigree ornament for the necrotic grips is what we're using. I will say this right now. I have used the necrotic grips in so many videos to be fair, though. I think it's warranted because a lot of the necrotic grips uh sets that i've made are like very like on the nose like for example the two sets that i made for two different videos was for a what was it for for a hive themed look and i was gonna use that rock like, like come on let's not let's not kid ourselves and then the nivoa filigree ornament just looks so fucking amazing with this set that i was like there it's a no-brainer because it looks amazing with it um and it doesn't even bug me that it's it's a different color than the chest piece because it's technically not a different color. It's a different color from the actual robe. But if you see the under armor or the under cloth armor, then you guys will actually see that it's black. So it actually goes goes really well with it. And it's ornamental as fuck too. So it just looks perfect with it. Again, sunlit, uh, sunlit armor set for the chest piece is what we're using. I love this chest piece. I think it's amazing. It's so fucking cool. For the boots, Forbidden Visage boots is what we're using. I think it looks really cool with this set. That being th that being said, I do think you could switch this out for a more bougie look, but I really like Forbidden Visage. I think it looks amazing with it. And then for the Bond, Starfarer's Bond is what we're using. Overall, I think this is a dub. I would definitely say switch out the helmet if you're not the biggest fan of it, but everything else looks amazing with it. I would probably switch out the Forbidden Visage boots for something that's a little bit more ornamental. But I feel like this gives off like like commander vibes, like like you're a commander of like a ship or whatever. I definitely love this set. I do think the bond is also like you definitely skip this if you want. But overall, let me know what you guys think about this one. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I really, really like a lot of these sets for the shader of the end of the video. We're going to be going with I'm, I'm interested in Iron Bone. Again, let me know which shader was your favorite overall or a combination of shaders that I did in this video. But the shader is going to be Chin and Slate just because I didn't use Chin and Slate only for one piece from the whole sets. So Chin and Slate is going to be my shader, but definitely tell me your, your favorite shader in the comments below or and your favorite set as well, because I usually like to know. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys. Be safe. I will see you guys later.